Caitlin Clark snags another honor. She's made the Forbes 30 under 30 list. Clark, who is just 22 years old, is the only professional women's basketball player on this list. Picture a 22-year-old basketball sensation shattering records, captivating millions, and securing a spot on Forbes 30 under 30. It sounds like a fairy tale, but for Caitlin Clark, it's just another day in the spotlight. Forbes says Clark was chosen for leading the Indiana Fever to their first playoff appearance in eight years, while breaking the WNBA single season assist record and earning Rookie of the Year honors. But wait, there's more. She also led the WNBA All-Star Game voting with more than 700,000 ballots and has been credited with an increase in league viewership and attendance. Not everyone is cheering as Clark's star rises. Fellow WNBA standout Asia Wilson seems to be feeling the heat, with her high-profile moves keeping her in the conversation, but not without stirring some controversy. Is there a hint of rivalry brewing in the WNBA? Let's break down the buzz. This new Asia Wilson was overrated, Eric. You got Eric, let me see your resume. Let me see your resume. That's what I thought. Caitlin Clark's latest victory isn't on the hardwood, it's on the global stage. Forbes has officially named her to their prestigious 30 under 30 list, an accolade typically reserved for industry titans and legendary athletes. This year, she's the lone WNBA player to receive the honor. Clark isn't just excelling in basketball, she's redefining the role of a young athlete making waves in the modern world. Is, you know, I just come out here and try to, you know, play basketball in, in a way that people love watching, in a way that is going to make my team successful, and the records and whatever, or the stats, that's just what comes with. What made Forbes take notice? Caitlin Clark's freshman season was nothing short of extraordinary. She didn't just break records. She obliterated 62 of them, as if rewriting history was second nature. Her influence extended far beyond the court, with her electrifying performances, drawing fans in droves and boosting viewership by four times the league average. This wasn't just a personal milestone, it was a transformative moment for the WNBA itself. Clark is the sole representative of the WNBA on the list. Forbes credited Clark with building viewership and bringing attention to the league during her record-setting season. Dr. Ryan Brewer, a renowned sports economist, put it best, Caitlin Clark's impact feels almost unreal. In 2024, women's basketball saw a jaw-dropping fourfold surge in TV viewership compared to the previous year, and at the center of this revolution is Clark. Her total earnings reached $1.1 million, the highest in the WNBA, with 95% stemming from endorsements. Her groundbreaking Nike deal, valued at $28 million over eight years, is nearly 46 times her WNBA salary. Let that sink in. Clark isn't just changing the game, she's rewriting the entire narrative. Women's basketball is no longer just a sport, it's a booming business. And Clark is proving that fans are here for electrifying talent and edge-of-your-seat gameplay, not just off-court gossip. The amount of people that have showed up in the stadiums from the viewership numbers to people really wanting to wear a WNBA player's jersey or buy their merch or whatever it is or have their shoe. Um, just how it's evolved in such a short period of time, I think, shows everyone, you know, there is real opportunity here. Caitlin Clark's recognition by Forbes isn't just a career milestone, it's a resounding message to the sports industry, sponsors, and media. Women's basketball is here, and it's nothing short of thrilling when played at an elite level, at the forefront of this transformation. Caitlin Clark, rewriting the rules with every record-breaking performance. See, are the bees that are being dramatic about Caitlin Clark. That's all I see. They try so long to get respect for women's basketball, and then they treat it like a junior high school girl's locker room. Junior high school girl antics on the court. Instead of playing the game, they got to be drama because they're jealous. Instead of letting their skills speak for themselves, they gotta be drama because they're jealous. You'd think Caitlin Clark's meteoric rise would have the entire WNBA rallying in celebration, but the reality behind the scenes paints a different picture. What's really going on in those locker rooms? And why does Asia Wilson's name keep coming up in the mix? Let's unpack the drama. What do you think you'll be, Josh? Don't piss me off. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Do not piss me 
When Caitlin Clark joined the WNBA, the hype was undeniable. Fans were eager to see her college brilliance light up the professional stage. But as her star ascended, not everyone in the league seemed thrilled. Veteran players started to feel the heat and Asia Wilson. She's been stirring conversations with some bold moves of her own. Clark, I'm sure you saw, just became the all-time scoring leader of women's college basketball. Um, I'm curious, where would you rank her amongst all-time college players, in your opinion? Ooh, that's tough because you got to win one. I feel like that college is one of those spaces where you got to win one to, for them to even have your name in the conversation. Uh, I, and it took me three years to win mine. Here's the real story. While Caitlin Clark has been smashing records and commanding attention, some WNBA veterans are finding themselves overshadowed. It's no longer just about performance on the court, it's about endorsements, media buzz, lucrative contracts, and even speaking engagements. And this shift is where things start to get interesting. A little girl wants to grow up and play in a league where you're targeted like that. What, how do you sit here and profess and demand that everyone take women's sports seriously when you can't even take it seriously enough to not act like a junior high queen on the court? It's stupid. That's so dumb. It just, it just, it looks like a soap opera. Remember the buzz around Caitlin Clark's virtual speaking fee? It wasn't long before Asia Wilson's camp counted with their own numbers. Reports quickly surfaced claiming Wilson charges $110,000 for virtual appearances, $10,000 more than Clark's fee. That coincidence? Fans are calling it anything but. He's talking about, you know, she's charging 100 k for speaking events, and fans is like, okay, since when? And like, you only doing this because of Asia Wilson's move didn't exactly win over the crowd. Social media erupted with fans labeling it a transparent bid for attention. One tweet summed it up harshly. Asia, honey, we see right through you. But here's the twist. It's not just about the money. Some veteran players worry that Clark isn't just stealing the spotlight. She might be redefining the entire game. Heck, Asia Wilson's not 30. How is Caitlin Clark handling all the drama? like the pro she is. While Asia Wilson seems preoccupied with playing the numbers game, Clark remains laser-focused on what truly matters, her game and her team. Steering clear of the pettiness, she's winning even more fans with her calm and composed demeanor. Her response isn't just elevating her popularity, it's solidifying her reputation as both an exceptional athlete and an outstanding teammate. And let's face it, no leaked contract figures can rival that kind of leadership. Here's the thing. Caitlin Clark isn't just changing how basketball is played. She's transforming the entire business of women's sports. Every record she breaks and every fan she brings to the stands is proof that women's basketball is a powerhouse in the making. It's a win for the whole league, even if not everyone sees it that way just yet. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We're thrilled to have you here. Now, let's get back to the action. The idea of some players being jealous? Yes, that, that probably exists. Okay. And that is unfair. Okay. To me, yeah, jealous, sure. I mean, would you be jealous of somebody that got $28 million a shoe deal or whatever the deal is before you step foot in the pros? As Caitlin Clark continues to dominate, the divide between her and her critics becomes even more pronounced. But what do industry insiders and fans truly think about this unfolding drama? The answers go far beyond basketball preferences, they're influencing the trajectory of women's sports itself. I don't know what it is, but these women forever hating on CC, though, is looking real spooky out there for a bunch of these WNBA stars. Stars, let's step into the court of public opinion. Social media has been ablaze with reactions to Asia Wilson's latest moves, and fans aren't holding back. They're not buying what she's selling. Case in point, when both Wilson and Caitlin Clark declined offers from Unrivaled, the new three-on-three -three basketball league. Clark's reasons were clear and relatable, prioritizing self-care after an intense year and opting to stay off the court during the off-season. Wilson's camp, however, quickly leaked that her offer was bigger than Clark's, even though her reasons for declining were much more vague. One fan summed it up best, nobody asked, Asia, you could have just said no and kept it moving. Asia Wilson is the queen of the delusion. 
She's absolutely the queen of the delusion. It's not just random fans throwing shade. Basketball analysts and sports journalists are weighing in too, calling out how obvious Asia Wilson's attempts to stay in a spotlight have become. It's like watching a seasoned pro botch an easy play. Everyone can see it, and it's not a good look. But despite the drama, Caitlin Clark isn't just focused on herself. She's proposing a groundbreaking idea, paying opponents more when she plays, a bold move that showcases her awareness of her star power and her commitment to elevating the entire league. While Wilson may be chasing headlines, Clark is quietly reshaping the game. And the fans? They're not just watching, they're celebrating the dawn of a new era in women's basketball. I think the thing about leadership is like how you approach every single person is going to be completely different. And I think the thing that's helped me be successful throughout my career has been the relationships that I've been able to build with people and every single person person you have to approach differently because they come from a different background, they come from a different place. Somebody can be a little more tender hearted and for me I probably want to be screamed at. Like it's just everybody's a little bit different. So. I think that's what's unique about leadership and being able to understand people, but that takes time and building relationships is really important. The WNBA stands at a crossroads and Caitlin Clark is holding the map. As she paves the way for the league's future, some veteran players are digging in their heels. Is the WNBA ready for the seismic shift Clark represents or will growing pains threaten to slow its momentum? Let's dive into the generational shift unfolding before our eyes. Caitlin Clark isn't just another new player, she's a completely different breed of athlete. She's bringing fresh energy, a dynamic style of play, and a massive fan base that has the old guard taking notice. And this figures. Ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't come courtesy of a league. It comes courtesy of the players that play in the league. And in her case, she was the most popular, which means she could have helped your bottom line, which means you should have seen that from day one and maximized it. But you didn't. Here's where it gets interesting. While fans are going wild for Caitlin Clark, some veteran players are feeling the pressure. It's not just about jealousy, it's a changing of the guard happening faster than anyone anticipated. These seasoned players have spent years laying the groundwork for women's basketball. Now, they're watching a rookie come in and completely shift the game in just one season. It's not an easy pill to swallow. Imagine spending years fighting for recognition, better pay, and more media coverage, only to see a young phenom swoop in and secure all that, and more, right out of the gate. It's no surprise some players are finding it hard to adjust. I talk about other NBA, WNBA players not being appreciated. Nobody insulted them. Nobody di dismissed their contribution. We were simply saying despite the contributions for years and years and years, a lot of people didn't care. Fair or not, I told Caitlin Clark. Now, let's explore what this means for the future of the league. Experts are predicting that the upcoming CBA negotiations could spark major changes in how players are compensated. Why? Because Caitlin Clark is proving just how much one player can influence the league's financial landscape. League officials are starting to realize that the old ways of doing business simply aren't enough anymore. Talks are already underway about a significant overhaul of the WNBA's financial structures, and it's all thanks to the Clark effect. I said, Caitlin Clark, rising tide lifts all boats. As much as her presence was maximized by the WNBA, you players could have done more. You could have done more to us. Some experts are drawing comparisons between Caitlin Clark and the star players of the NBA and NFL, who have revolutionized their leagues by leveraging their marketability to secure better contracts and endorsement deals. It seems Clark might be doing the same for the WNBA. But it's not just about the money. Clark is bringing new attention to the sport, generating excitement around women's basketball like never before. Consider this. Other women's sports have seen transformative moments like this, moments that reshaped their entire landscape. The WNBA is at that critical juncture right now. They can either embrace the change and ride the wave Clark is creating, or resist it and risk being left behind. They didn't want to, rather. You have been hesitant and reluctant and resistant to it. So much so you didn't push for it to be on Team USA. So much so, you had people like Cheryl Swoop who didn't even want to mention her name. But it's not going to be an easy road ahead. The league will face some growing pains as it adjusts to this new reality. However, one thing is certain.
Caitlin Clark is rewriting the playbook and the WNBA will never be the same. Let's take a moment to appreciate the seismic impact she's having on women's basketball. Her inclusion in Forbes 30 Under 30 isn't just another accolade. It's a clear sign that the business world is finally recognizing the immense potential of women's sports. It elevated television ratings, it elevated attendance, and it damn sure elevated franchise value. But now, something that y'all resisted talking about, opining about, She's proving that women's sports can be a major business force. And what about Asia Wilson? Her efforts to stay in the spotlight now seem almost insignificant in comparison. While Clark is busy making history, Wilson's actions serve as a reminder that true greatness isn't about overshadowing others, it's about uplifting the entire game. Clark's journey is just beginning, but one thing is clear. The future of women's basketball has never been brighter, and that's something worth celebrating. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.